we already had a look at our app we can now go back to the vs code so this is the app that's currently running and i'm running this here on localhost 3000 but we're gonna start this from the scratch so let's go open another window of vs code and we will switch them around so we can go back and forth and now this is an empty vs code window what we can do is open the terminal control j and i would like to keep my app on my desktop so i will first go to the desktop using the command line ls so as you can see i have these it lists in my user so i'm gonna go to desktop so what i will do is cd change directory to desktop now i am in desktop yes i have these three folder on the desktop so let's go ahead and create the react app so what do we do to create the react app is npx create react app and then name of your app and then hit enter that's how you create the react js app right but we are going to use typescript so what we will do is npx create react app remember guys this goes together always create dash react dash app i have made this mistake so many times just putting a space between create and react app and then getting an error on terminal and after that comes the name of your app so i'm gonna name it cinematica2 and template template typescript for the typescript and then we hit enter so the app is being installed and i will just wait okay now that the app has been installed and if you look at this to start this app we can do npm start for the build this is just the basic uh, structure of how when we install a react app so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to this directory here it says we suggest that you being begin by typing cd cine cinematica2 so cd change directory because right now i'm current currently in my desktop right i'm still on desktop so if i ls it you can see the cinematica 2 has been added here so we can do cd cinematica 2 i would clear it so i'm always on top so over here i will do yarn actually if you look at this there's nothing here so we're going to open that inside of our vs code so we can do code space dash actually that opens up another window so we'll close this window and now we are here so cinematica 2 is here just make it a bit smaller open the terminal again and if you look at it this is the default react typescript app that we get using the npx create react app dash dash template typescript so what we have here is a source folder containing all the files that are necessary really important file everything happens in the source folder your public folder contains the index.html page which is basically rendering everything inside your source folder using this id root so if we go to index.tsx you can see this is what is being passed to the id get element by id and root as html id so all these source uh, files inside this source, source folder are being rendered to the html well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hide the terminal for now and we're gonna do the cleanup so if we do yarn start if you use npm that's okay you can do npm start npm npm start something is already running on port 3000 probably yes because 3000 is currently busy <coughs> with the version that i showed you already for demo and that's running through here so what's going to happen now is it's going to ask me to switch to another port so it's going to run that on localhost 3001 if i say yes and now you can see 3001 
and if 3001 is busy it will run it on 3002 by itself so here is the default app <laughs> nothing special just the react logo spinning that's what you get with the npx create react app right so i have some warning here which will go away if i just control c it stopped the app and now i'll start it again with yarn or npm but i'll use yarn guys so forgive me if you guys use npm that's totally fine there's nothing wrong with that but i'm used to use yarn so i will be using yarn and i'm gonna start the app again and reload it oh again port 3000 is busy now we are back so if i do 3000 here i think we'll run the other app because that's also running so we're gonna do 3001 for this one and let's go ahead and clean up our app so we want to have a blank page so first of all we're gonna start cleaning up from the source folder so we don't need this logo we're gonna delete it we don't need the react app these are the files that we don't really need so i'm gonna select all of them and delete remember we don't need react app dash env we don't need report web vitals we don't need setup so we can delete them and as soon as we delete them we can see the errors being shown in compile time that's the beauty of react and you can we can see the index.tsx file is expecting report web vitals which we just deleted so we can go into that file you can see it's already red here and we can remove this from here and from here as well i will just make it a bit smaller for now let's just go ahead and delete some other stuff as well so now this file app.tsx file is expecting a logo but we have deleted it so we can also remove it from here even here what we will do here we'll get rid of everything inside this div and even this class name and we will just leave it with the fragments so this is react fragments everything inside your return statement have to be wrapped within these so if you're rendering any element here it should be inside inside that like this so also the react is faded here which means we are not using it anywhere react is declared but its value is never reached so we can get rid of that for now after test we don't need this we can delete it the app is still running fine after css we also don't need it because we will be defining our custom css style component and now we can see because these files were expecting index.css and here we have another error app.tsx is expecting app.css we can get rid of that as well and so now in our source folder we only have two files app.tsx and index.css let's go to public favicon we don't really need it but if you guys want to give like a favicon so as you can see this is the favicon that is this which is being rendered to the html page over here so if you guys want your custom favicon you can download it install it here it, if it's an ico file or png file and then you can just import it here which we will i think we will have a look at that as well but for now let's delete it because we don't need it logo not needed this not needed manifest not needed this is not needed we can delete all of these and by deleting this we can also get rid of this comments i just like to have things nice and tidy we have deleted manifest we don't need it even that and submit the document so now we have a blank web page and after this we can start coding and start with our component trees and whatever the folder structure how it's gonna look like so for this one we're gonna pause here and now we'll jump on to the next section